commentaries in a jaded type of style. It just makes sense. You get to look at something pretty and you record on the way. Don't have to edit. Saves time. It's just a brilliant way to do it. So I got to give a shout out to Jaden. So, yeah, a certain comment, uh, well, and of course what happened on Thunder's Live yesterday. So let me back up to Thunder's Live first of all, because I need to call you out, Gen X, on a couple of bullshits. And then I'll tell you what I think about it after. Oh, and by the way, Mr. G asked, does it ever rain? Does it ever rain in here? Well, here it is. Here's the first rain for the high desert of the fall season. Up way, way in the high desert. But by the time we finish our trip, it won't be raining down there. Anyways, Gen X, you decided to pop in on Thunder's Live, where you really didn't get a very warm welcome because you're over there talking nonsense. So since you abruptly inserted yourself, we basically, people told you we didn't agree with you and you got timed out and you just basically got told not to bother the channel and you know, if you didn't like what you were seeing or hearing over there to go back over on other people's lives where maybe it'd be better that you hung out in. And then I see today someone sent me a, a shot where you're telling Roy, and I'm not trashing you, Roy, I'm just responding to Gen X and unfortunately, once again, someone's dragging your name into it. Is she puts on there, oh, they doxed my name. No, we didn't. We called you Jen, Gen X. That is your YouTube name. That would be like me, someone called me Heidi. I've never accused anybody of doxing my name for saying my first name. My first name is part of my channel name, Mighty Heidi. So if anyone says Mighty Heidi or Heidi, Dream Warrior or all of the above, why am I going to get mad at that? That is the name I choose to go by on YouTube. So us saying Jen or Gen X is not doxing you, you weirdo. Okay? So then it just brings up speculation here. I already know why you're mad at me. You're mad at me because, and it was actually the very, it was like in its infancies, I decided, okay, you know what? I'm finally going to get on Discord to talk to people. And I created my own little channel and it was hours old. So I went down my friends list and just started adding everybody. Well, I added you because I thought you were a good person. Actually, I do still think you're a good person. Oh, look, we got snow up on the mountains too. People wonder, see, they say, oh, it never snows in California. Yes, it does. There's some, there's proof. Um, anyway, so in my infancy, in, in like my little baby channel, which by the way, all we've done is pretty much post cat pictures and shit like that. But, you know, I had quite a few people when they had contact me and see my a friendship with me or on my channel. I don't run a dictatorship okay it's not my way or the highway friendships with me my channel other channels people I interact with is a democracy meaning everybody has a say I'm not going to just say oh too bad this is the way it is like some people out there and not one not two but every well, almost every, maybe one or two exceptions, but almost everybody. Now, when I started that Discord, that saw you in that Discord, literally contacted me. Whether it was the few people that can contact me outside of YouTube, to other people sending me emails, to messages, all voicing their concern. 
and feeling very uncomfortable that you were there for the specific reason that you go back and forth, you make up stuff, and recently, and I've forgotten this happened, but I do remember it, and it is true, is when you released private conversations between you and Tracy. And that makes people uncomfortable. So I told the group I wasn't going to be the one to decide to kick you out of the group, but if the group felt uncomfortable and they so choose, chose to do that, then I was going to honor and stand by the group decision. So it was a group decision that decided they did not feel comfortable having conversations around you. So you can get mad at me for that. That's fine. You can talk shit about me for that as well. That's fine. But that is what the truth was. It wasn't about me. It was about me honoring and respecting the feelings of the friends around me that have supported me and have been very loyal to me and tell the truth about me and about things that happen. So I stood behind those friendships that I'm loyal to and I'm sorry if them deciding to kick you out of that group hurt your feelings that's just tough. I guess that's the consequences you pay when you start releasing personal conversations. You know, I kind of wonder, you know, do you feel uncomfortable now? Like, do you still talk to Tracy and go over there? Because let me tell you, if I released, you know, hypothetically, you know, let's say I had a, you know, private conversation with Red or Jaded or any of them. And I decided to release private conversations, which one, I wouldn't do anyway, but two, it would be pointless because anything we really talk about, Jaded ends up making a video about talking about anyway. So we really, at least any of the channels I've gone to or interactions, we're not saying anything to each other that we're not willing to say online to anybody else anyway. But the fact that that's besides the point. Friends don't do that to friends. So Gen X, that makes you a bad friend, first of all. And it makes you untrustworthy and people feel uncomfortable around that. Now, nobody that I've seen has your information. No one's saying your information. No one from what I've seen has given your information. Frankly, I don't want your information. I've never seen your so-called business or your website or anything. And I'm, I stand with Red when she said she's glad ultimately she didn't see it. I'm glad too. Because if you don't have information, you can't be accused of doing shit. Nobody dropped your whole name. Nobody talked, nobody even talked about your business from what I'm aware. No one brought that up. We literally just told you that you weren't really, your input wasn't agreed with and wasn't really welcome and that you possibly should go back to that other group because you go back and forth and you start shit. And my final point on this, you know, it, let me tell you, okay, I think everybody knows I am not the biggest Cherry fan and I really hate to admit this, I do, but I have to because I have to be honest is all this shit that you're talking about, oh, Cherry doxed me, Cherry gave out my information, I have to call bullshit to now. I think you're probably the only one that's crying that Cherry doxed you that he probably didn't do. And I'll tell you why. The minute people start spewing out lies that you know are straight out lies, you, then you can't believe anything they say. It's basically the same thing with the YouTube telenovela. The minute you start fabricating or adding details or doing things that people just know that frankly aren't true, then you just become not credible. So just the fact that you're running off and putting comments over to Roy saying that 
we doxed your name and all the shit we talked about you. We did not talk a lot of shit. We basically just timed you out, said we didn't agree with you, um, to leave our leave the live alone, and we continued on with you know watching what Thunder was doing, and that was that. So that in a nutshell tells me that if you're willing to run over to Roy and give him stories that were doxing you on a live stream, which didn't happen, then I don't believe that Cherry doxed you either because I can show hard proof. People have seen where he doxed uh, me and several people. I have screenshot proof where he doxed me and several people over the last month or so in shorts, full names and community posts, all that nonsense. And I haven't seen him do anything like that doxing you. I haven't seen community posts, shorts. I haven't heard it in his lives. Have I heard him talk shit to you? Sure. Have I heard him be vile to you? Of course. That's, that's how he is. So, but have I heard him dox you? No. Have I seen evidence that he doxed you? No. So, I'm going to call you out, call out your bullshit. If he in fact doxed you, where's your receipts? I mean, you can block out some of the really super private stuff. I mean, I can show receipts. Where are your receipts, Gen X? I don't think you have any. Because I think you're an ultra shit starter that just wants attention. I think that's all you were looking for is attention. So I think we've established no one's doxed you. No one is interested in your business. No one over here has hurt your business. Feel free to do whatever you want with whatever business you want. And no one's bothering you. So, I'm just putting it out there. You want to talk shit? You want attention? Well, now you got attention because I'm calling you out on your nonsense. And that's where we're going to leave it today. Is your nonsense. So, you know... Congratulations, I am giving you the nickname of, I don't know, the green snake in the bushes or something. It's Gen X. That's snake-like moves. You're a snake. Just like, you know what, I'm going to start making up a whole list of names that, that Cobra has given people. Now, Cobra, you know, it's funny because... Obviously, he named himself Cobra, not necessarily after a snake itself, but the names he gives people, like, let's see, Bobby, which I don't have a problem with Bobby, but I just think the name Cobra gave him is ridiculous. He called him an upside-down can of refried beans. That's hilarious. And recently, I think, what did he rename? He named Jackie. What did he name her? He said Mrs... Mrs. Um, Mrs. Blueberry Donut. So she's Mrs. Blueberry Donut. What? Well, Gen X, you can be the green mamba snake. Gen X, the snake. If I ever bought a reptile, which I have reptiles, but if I ever buy a snake in the future, and I don't have plans for a snake, but if I did, if I bought a snake, I would name it Gen X. That's all I got for you for right now, guys. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Cherry, Hector, Gen X. Go fuck yourselves.